Ticket, please. Mark, what are you doing here? I'm driving the streetcar. Ticket, please. Mark, is this the same streetcar that I left you on two years ago? Yes. You got off and we never saw each other again. Where have you been all this time? Driving this streetcar. You need to disembark now. The end is near. Mark, there's nothing out there but clouds. Don't worry, Maya. You can fly in your dreams. And what about you? It's time to get off. Jump! Maya Anderson, the psychiatrist? Yes. This is Detective Schwartz. I'm with the police. Do you know Dr. Mark Blanche? Yes, but I haven't seen him in over two years. He worked at the Find Your Way Psychiatric Center. He went missing two days ago, and we haven't ruled out murder. Could you please come meet me at the Find Your Way Psychiatric Center? There's a sort of mass hysteria going on here. All the patients are acting strangely. I understand that you're highly respected in the field of hypnosis. We need your help with our investigation. Detective Schwartz? Yes, thank you for coming. What is this strange place? This used to be a place where people could rent cottages and vacation by the lake. Dr. Blanche rented the entire complex and set up this clinic for his patients. He was treating five of his patients here. It looks like they were all special patients of his. Two days ago, Dr. Blanche vanished without a trace. His car is still here, but no one has left the complex. So we think that he might have been murdered. Well, what's the matter with his patients? You mentioned something about mass hysteria. They all started having strange nightmarish visions after the doctor went missing. These visions seem to occur at any time, even when they're awake. I can't give you any details because I don't know the specifics. Hey, are you okay? I think I see something. What is it? I see a weird looking little person. A little person? What does he look like? He's wearing a mask and he's running around rattling shackles and chains. A little person? What does he look like? He's wearing a ma Relax. I should be able to help you if I hypnotize you. Okay. Please hurry. Focus on my flashlight. Relax. Watch the changing focus of my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream. A dream of your subconscious. Your sleep. Don't be afraid. This is a projection of your subconscious. It's so weird. Now, let's find out what's bothering you.
There he is. It's that little person I was talking about. It looks like a phobia. And what are we going to do with it? We need to get rid of it. Where did this phobia come from? I don't know, but maybe that wasn't the only one. Let's keep looking. How horrible! God, it's me, and I'm naked. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, give me back that key. Relax. It's only a dream. That's a very intimate part of my soul. Don't go in there. What are you doing? You're not allowed in there. Don't worry. I won't harm you. Maya, you know that people lie, even when they're hypnotized. Oh, God. It looks like I'm starting to have nightmares. Perhaps this place is somehow affecting everyone's psyches. How long have you been questioning the doctor's patience? Yesterday and today. Do you think it's contagious? Maybe. Detective, are you sure that you've told me the whole truth? Police officers never lie. We brought you in to help us solve this case. We've told you everything that we know. Please, talk to all the patients and find out what is happening. I need to go now, but I'll be back tomorrow. Good luck. Hello. I'm Maya. I'm a doctor. Welcome to the crazy house. How was Dr. Blanche treating your mental health issues? Dr. Blanche taught us how to deal with and control our emotions. We played games, and I did a lot of painting. It was really good, but then he disappeared two days ago, and... I started having all these horrible visions. Please, tell me about the nightmarish visions you've been having. After Dr. Blanche disappeared, everyone here started having terrifying visions. We have them when we sleep, but sometimes when we're awake too. Are we going insane? Honestly, it's not as easy as one might think to go insane. Particularly five people all at once. Please. Describe your visions. A scary skeleton girl wearing a mask appears in my dreams. It's very disturbing. Okay, let me hypnotize you. <laughs> now why would you want to do that? I won't harm you. I just want to help remove the vision that's causing your fear. Okay, go ahead. Hypnotize me. Focus on my flashlight. You're not here. This isn't happening. We're entering a dream. A dream of your subconscious. You're asleep. Where are we? This is my mental studio. I often paint here in my dreams. What's bothering you? 
My parents don't love me. They could just care less. There's the scary skeleton! I'll get rid of her. My dad has escaped into a world of beer and sports. He screams, Go! Gets fatter, and his head is getting square. My mom plays computer games for days at a time. She's growing cabbage and herding sheep online.
You know, your parents really do love you. Do you love them? Of course I love them. What's bothering you? Nobody loves me. Well, there's one guy, but he's weird. He's sad all the time, like me. Most men are boring and aggressive. There's that skeleton girl again. Love will suddenly find you, and it will be serious and passionate. Are you ready for it? Yes, I can't wait. How do you feel? I think I'm better. I feel like I had a really good sleep. So, the visions won't appear anymore. If they reoccur, we'll just remove them again. Where are they coming from? I never used to have anything like this. That's what I'm here to figure out. Has anyone else been having visions? Yes. My neighbor, Victor York, has been having them too. 
He's in the tent by the river. Okay, I'll pay him a visit. In the meantime, try and get some rest.